Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a 24 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate from ZXNY. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, when you open the box, the first thing you're gonna see is your post bolts. And they're nice because they give you one inch post bolts and one half inch post bolts along with the washers and lock washers. You know, you can use that. So if you're gonna be connecting multiple conductors onto this battery, you can use these longer post bolts. So that's always nice to have. You also comes with your product manual and your warranty service information. And then here's the battery. And the very first thing I want to point out is look at the size of this 24 volt 100 amp hour battery compared to a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. Now this is a group 31 size battery so it's a standard size and look at this this 24 volt it's only about one and three quarters inch taller and about three quarters of an inch uh, wider. And when it comes to the depth, the depth is only about a half of an inch uh, deeper. And this battery only weighs 40.1 pounds. And with these two carrying straps, it is very manageable. All right, a little bit about the specifications of this battery. It is, like I said, a 24 volt battery. So that means it has a nominal voltage of 25.6 volts. That gives you 2,560 watt hours of power. Now this battery does come with a 100 amp BMS and it can do 300 amps for five seconds. This BMS also has cold temperature charging protection. Now I will be testing the 100 amp uh, max. I'll be uh, running for five minutes, but I'm only going to give you the result. And I will test the cold temperature charging protection just to make sure it works. But there is one thing that I want to show you that I think you will find amazing and a good reason why you should choose 24 volt batteries. So stay tuned for that. The first thing that you should always do though when you get your battery is check the voltage and make sure that the battery is operating exactly the way that it should be. All right, when it comes to 24 volt batteries, when you first get them, they should be between 26.2 and 26.4 volts. That would be right around 50% capacity. And so let's go ahead and check it. And it is 26.4. So that is right at where you want it when you first receive your 24 volt battery. All right, now that you know that the initial voltage of the battery is good, you wanna go ahead and charge it up to 100%. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on my 24 volt charger, and then I'm going to do a capacity test to make sure that I'm getting that 100 amp hours that I paid for. After that, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this thing can actually draw 100 amps at 24 volts for five minutes to make sure that it's safe. And then I'm going to throw it in my freezer for 24 hours to make sure that it has cold temperature charging protection. Starting from a dead battery, it gets me at least 100 amp hours. And let's also make sure that the cold temperature charging protection works. This should just turn on and then turn right back off. turned on and it turned right back off perfect also I wanted to show that the XZNY 24 volt 100 amp hour battery could run a hundred amps continuous as seen right there for up to five minutes with absolutely no problem it's powering a small griddler which is 1100 watts and a new wave induction cooktop that's right now running at 900 watts all right, and the battery did it with no problem. All right, now that we know that the XZNY 24 volt 100 amp hour battery uh, has at least 100 amp hours of capacity, uh, we know that it has cold temperature charging protection, and we also know that it can handle powering up to 100 amps at 24 volts for over five minutes with absolutely no problem. But what I'm most excited about is what would happen if you had two of them. Now you're talking connecting these together and making a 100 amp hour 48 volt battery bank. Now let me just show you comparisons to a 12 volt bank that is converted to uh, a 48 100 amp hour and a 100 amp hour 48 volt battery that I have on my wall. 
First of all, if you measure these things side by side and you're going to be wiring them in series like this or like this, the dimensions of this battery would be a little under 15 inches and a little over 13 inches deep. Again, with a, with a height of a little under 10 inches. And now what I have here is another 48 volt, 100 amp hour bank. It consists of four 12 volt group 31 batteries. And in comparison, the width of this battery bank is 27 and a half inches by 13 inches deep by like eight and a half inches tall. And if you were to look at this EFG 100 amp hour, 48 volt battery right here hanging on my wall, this thing is 16 and a half inches by 21 and a half inches. And from the wall, it's eight inches. But you have to remember this thing right here weighs over a hundred pounds. So it's just not very portable. And these just take up a lot of space, even though they're a little bit more portable, but you have to wire everything all up to get it to work. But these two 24 volt, 100 amp hour batteries from XZNY, you can move them into whatever configuration you want. I mean, you could have it like this with the wire going from positive to negative like that to make 48 volts. I mean, you could have them sitting side by side like that and it wouldn't take up much room at all. You could also have them sitting just like this. So you have just a short wire going from your positive and your negative and then having your inverter plugged in over here. I mean, the options of how you can mount this, uh, there's just a lot more variation of what you can do. I mean, even if you had them like on separate shelves or something like that, you could just use them like this and this will give you 48 volts and 100 amp hours. All right, so let's just say I'm gonna connect mine like this. When you connect 48 volts, you always wanna make sure that the batteries are fully charged to 100% and that you had them connected in parallel. People say for six hours, I always do 24 hours. I like to make sure that these things are perfectly balanced between each other. And then what I do is I take a charger again and I charge the whole 24, 24 volt bank up that are connected in parallel, I charge that again all the way up. And then you connect it in series. Connecting it in series, super easy. All you gotta do is connect the positive of one battery to the negative of the other. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna be using this uh, little 15 inch uh, four gauge wire. For 48 volts, four gauge wire and a 2000 watt inverter uh, are, are perfect because this is actually over gauged for a 2000 watt inverter. All right, like I said, you just take the negative side of one battery and you connect it to the positive side of the other. And now if you check the voltage of the two remaining uh, posts, you should get your 48 volt battery. Right there, you can see that we are measuring 53.1 volts. And now the only thing that you need to do is connect your negative and positive wires from your inverter to your new battery bank. When, when making your last connection for your 48 volt bank, uh, if, you're, if your inverter does not have a pre-charged resistor built in, you'll always wanna make sure and use a resistor before connecting it because you'll get a huge spark if you don't. So just go like that. I like to keep it on there for, I don't know, five or 10 seconds just to make me feel better. And then when you connect it, absolutely no spark whatsoever. That is exactly the way it should work. And there it is. Here is our 48 volt, 100 amp hour bank right here. Now this little setup right here, it can run a 5,000 BTU air conditioner for probably at least 10 hours, which that can last throughout the whole night if you need. If you bought other equipment like a solar charge controller and some solar panels and connected it to this small system, uh, you could have a legitimate backup system for when the power goes out for hours and hours and hours and hours at a time. And it's mobile, which is nice because each one of these batteries only weighs like what, 40 pounds. So you can just disconnect the whole thing and carry it up one piece at a time instead of having to lug around a hundred pound 48 volt battery. Now, just as a disclaimer, if you are gonna build something like this, make sure and use the proper wiring, proper fuses, proper breakers, all that stuff. This is just an example of what can be done using the very basic uh, 
simplified version of these connections. And as of the recording of this video right now, which is the beginning of August 2024, these batteries are going for sale on Amazon for $4.99. Now you can use the $30 coupon and that'll knock it down to like what, $4.69. But right now, if you're a Prime member, you can get this battery for $389. Now you're talking, if you bought two of them, you can get a 48 volt, 100 amp hour battery for less than $800 if you're a Prime member. That's ridiculous. But the best part is, that the company does say that if you contact them and you say, hey, I'm not an Amazon Prime member, they will discount that an additional $110 per battery for everyone. So if you're looking for like pure capacity in a very small form factor, these XZMY batteries are, uh, you know, they might be something you want to look at. So if you have any questions about how I reviewed this, I know I kind of burned through the technicals of it pretty quickly. But if you do have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments. And uh, I'll have a link to these items in my description in case you want to look further into them. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.